So I guess theory denied where I was like, maybe she's the biggest sister. She's got no feelings whatsoever about anything ever. Although wanting to feel is technically a feeling, right? Feeling left out is a feeling. It's right, let me before. Before I put Q in. He's not here. Okay. What happens if I put some other people in? The dead cannot be killed. Who is still alive? Akane. She is not here, probably. Cannot get to Ward C. Zero. Do not know identity. Please input Q's name. Me. You cannot commit suicide. Oh shit. Uh, what about both? What about... Eric and... oh, that's not enough. Error? <laughs> no. Oh shit, so we can't? I guess we're gonna have to come back to this later too. So in this one we saw Junpei dead, but we still don't know who did that. And this was the canon where Carlos killed himself. Alright, I guess we just go back to the flow chart then. Uh, because we need a zero's identity and we need a Q's name. That is maybe the two options? What about none? No one. I just realized that none and no one is basically the same. Except with an extra O. Oh wait, maybe it's two words. No one! Okay, there we go. I forgot that might be an option. Oh, that means we're gonna get... Uh-oh. Uh, no, she... All right. She'll still kill Eric. I'll just slowly put my weapon down first. Can't believe I nearly so now, missed this option. You two? Yeah, okay. Sure. Uh oh. Oh shit. <laughs> oh shit. <gasps> the grenade! N no! Jump away! There was time! Bad end? No hesitation from Eric. Oh no! Fried. <laughs> what an idiot. No remorse. Now announcing the current casualties. Okay, Safety. Eric Bad too. Carlos, Junpei, Q Team, Q. Uh oh. D Team, Diana, Bye, Sigma. These six Bad and are idiot. now deceased. As a result, six X passes will be revealed. Bad dude. Look how happy he is. He's happy that he gets to run away with his psycho bitch. Let's go, Mira. Let's get out of here. <laughs> and build a happy home and wonderful future together. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm planning. Wow, he... Right, okay, nah. Remember when I, just a few minutes ago, gave him the benefit of the doubt? Like, friggin' let me take that back, please. Three days later. Oh, fuck. Man, I don't think I could be any happier. That was fast. I have you, Mira. Man, this bed is super comfy. Ah. <sighs> I couldn't ask for anything more. Isn't that right? Oh, God. Yeah, right. There's more she wants. Uh, I hope we can be like this every day. 
forever and ever and <laughs> Okay, no remorse at all from me this time. Did I just turn into them? Like I no longer care that that either of those two get killed, like fuck the both of them. Like they are uh, they just deserve it. Like if we need people, well, even if we don't need people to die, we should just kill them anyway. Just to be safe, because they're a psycho and an idiot, and scary. <laughs> Alright. So, there's still one more there, but also, right, during, we need to remember, during this escape room, there was another thing that we didn't get from the cupboard that we smashed open like I have to remember that I don't know what the answer is I don't know if I should go back and do that I'm not gonna do it yet I'm just gonna remember uh, I'm gonna actually write down study oh I also wrote down the anagram the truth is invisible and like I was like well why does Q get to figure out the anagram did you write the anagram Hmm. And Q is on the same team as the killer. Hmm. Like, Q isn't zero, right? But because we've seen zero in the, um, like, plague mask thing, crow mask, whatever it was, flipping the coin. But Q is related. For sure. Like, so this is a hospital child, right? Remember how like the person who needed the kid who needed surgery died? Maybe they didn't die. Maybe this thing on the head is keeping them alive like a life support. Or No. I was like maybe this is a copy. That doesn't make sense. Because the copy would still have the same problems and the machine was broken. Hmm. Right, the other thing that I want to point out about that is that the last words being the same, that feels like on purpose, right? What if... No. What if this happened and then... Hmm. And then whoever it was that got the heart ripped out who was going for a jog, they said those words on purpose to like remind of that moment. I, I think that's a really big stretch, but like it seems too much to be a coincidence, right? Who in their right mind would get murdered by someone who was like so excited to take their heart out and you would say, I forgive you, your smile, a smile looks better on you or something. Who in their right mind would say that? Like, that is not a natural reaction for even one person, never mind two people. So, something strange. So, I'm writing study. Um, uh, book code. Wasn't it? It was J O. 503. I have to write that down anyway, just in case. Uh, I don't know what we're going to do with that yet, but I'm sure we'll figure it out eventually. Oh. <sighs> now that we've done that, button time? See if we can get to know a little bit more about them. This is all going to be very insightful now that we know about her character. And I feel like this is something that we, we are supposed to find out early, right? Because um, you're going to click on this one. Like you, of all of these, right? Surely anybody wants to click on the crossbow to see what the hell's happening in this scene. Um, so... Right. That's is that a plague doctor mask? I can't remember what they even look like. It's definitely birdish. Um 
this one at least she's down the other thing i'm just thinking of is how that impacts the other ending that we saw where they all got murdered that adds up that really adds up she probably stole their hearts out as well just collecting them probably put them in jars <laughs> I'm surprised that's not an achievement in this game as well. Jar of hearts. So, I want to do the button. Right, we got, at least in the previous two buttons, we got some backstory on some people because it was time for them to talk. And I guess Mira isn't, because she's not just a killer for killing's sake, she's a killer because she wants their hearts. Um... She's not going to press the button because if it gets melted, she can't, like, eat it or whatever she wants to do with it. So, hmm. Let's try it. First come, first saved. Q. Let's go. So this is the last one where we're not going to push the button. Let us out! Let us out of here! How long are you planning on doing that? Bang all you want, it won't open. <sighs> Dark fingernails. Damn it. Just take a second, calm down. We need cool heads. Hey! What the hell are you doing? I'm sorry. Oh, poor Q. Do you know what that button does? Well, no, but maybe the door opens with it. I I really wasn't going to push it though. <sighs> well, you know, <laughs> looked like you were gonna. But he could have a very good point. We haven't heard anything from Zero. Just sitting around here is useless. Maybe just one tiny push. Hey, Mira. Just kidding. I'm not that reckless. <sighs> don't scare me like that. You should but be scared. We really don't know much at all. We may be at the point of crazy decisions. The only thing we know for sure is what time it is. You should be terrified. 1808. All of you. It must have been around 1330 when we fell asleep in the lounge. So, uh... Four and a half hours? Wow, you calculated that fast. And at your age, even. <laughs> well, was it good? I was just about to say the same thing. Seems you still have that problem oh, with numbers, Eric. these people are unbelievable. I recall you having trouble calculating change when we first met. Hey, come on now. Is that how you two met? I want to hear, I want to hear. Yeah, my face has got to be all red. Unbearable. I still remember every detail. The fateful encounter was on a Monday. Oh, we're going to hear the his side of it now. The sky morning in Nebraska was... Full of thick clouds, though the gloom cleared in an instant, like a miracle. I always mustered up my best smile for customers, even the boring regulars I was tired of seeing. I still offered the most delicious ice cream to them. I was getting sick of it, though. Oh, now, don't think it was my work I was unsatisfied with. I really truly love ice cream, <laughs> but as the days passed, Everything felt hollow, as if there was a hole in my oh, heart. Oh, don't tell her that. I thought it was just another normal day. I wasn't expecting the moment it changed. I couldn't believe my eyes. I didn't think such a beautiful sight existed in this world. My God, the feelings that hit me. I'd never felt anything like that before. That was when I realized this, this had to be a miracle. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mira entered my life. She was an angel that looked like a customer. He couldn't be more wrong. <laughs> He's like, uh, shouldn't it be the other way? The details aren't important. You look like you don't understand. Well, I don't blame you. I didn't get it either. Shouldn't walk me the other way. Mira was just such a vivacious vision of beauty. I was just a lowly ice cream shop employee. Next to that, there was no way I would be a good match. But then Mira... Cut it out. Me an angel? <laughs> you 
gotta be kidding. Why is she but like? But it's true. You really are an eyes? angel to me, Mira. Oh, she calmed down again now. <laughs> oh yeah, that's super funny to her. <laughs> Oh, and he's just laughing because he doesn't know uh, what she's laughing it's at. It's like you're a completely different person now, Eric. Huh? Well, earlier you were being... Well, your face was pretty scary. Did I frighten you that much? Yeah. Oh. Gosh. I'm so sorry. Uh, it's okay. Does she bring you out the best in it? You probably just rattled about what's happened to us. I could tell you were a nice person under all that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what are you? You're an odd duck. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like you've gone back to your dopey expression again. I guess you've calmed down, huh? Dopey? <laughs> Man, you're really this harsh, music. Mira. But yeah, so good. I'm okay now. That's right, I'm fine. I can definitely smile no matter what. Uh-oh. Rude awakenings once again. Hmm. I wonder why Zero decided to lock us up in here anyway. Right. Seems like too much effort for it to be just a joke. A lot of money was pumped into this whole thing. Maybe all of this is supposed to be part of the GCOM experiment? They wanted to investigate how a closed space affected change on emotions, right? But... Then why did they want normal people like us to apply? Normal. Wouldn't you want people in helpful professions to go to Mars? Like military officials, researchers, other skilled professionals like that. That's true. Maybe the reason they chose civilian subjects is... Because they're planning to send those kinds of people to Mars in the future. Hmm, huh. that sounds right. Strangers living together on Mars for an extended period of time. What kind of problems would that bring? How would the subjects figure out solutions to the resulting troublesome situations? According to the DCOM staff, that's what the experiment was trying to determine. Yeah, bull, right? Like the chair-bound old man. They put us in a difficult position what? on purpose. To observe how we'd get out. The sponsor is a civilian organization that hopes to expand business worldwide. Maybe they expect to be part of a colonization of Mars in the future. Colonizing Mars? Okay. What was I gonna say? Frig, I hey, forgot. have you ever heard this before? Hold these thoughts. If you want to transport live koi from Brazil to Japan, putting only koi fish in an aquarium will result in most of them dying. But by adding something to that same container, you won't lose a single one. Oh. What is it? A piranha. A piranha? But how does that even work? I guess their self-preservation instincts kick in. Mm. I get it. The fish become so afraid of the piranha that they make an effort to live. Mm. That nervous state becomes the power to keep them alive. Uh -huh. Oh, this feels important. In order to survive, you need that sense of urgency. Is that why you're here, Mira? Uh, I see. So, for an actual Mars mission, it'd be a good idea to have a murderer on the crew, Oh, huh? my God. <laughs> oh, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> she is Eric, don't say scary things she like that. She's not kidding. Oh. So maybe all this stuff is something similar. Living quietly in decom becomes boring. So the emotional state will fade. If you intentionally inject a sense of emergency, Oh my god, so much Both stuff to unpack. I still like to think that means Zero is dead. It appears that none of you fully grasp the essence of this game. Think back on the rules you were told. You will remain in the shelter for eternity until six people are killed. Chance. She's so evil looking. A single action from you may result in your escape from the depths. What must you do? It's simple. I shall show you. Wait, what? Show us what? 
It's not the same game? Yeah, it is, right? The other two teams are listening to yes. a message just like this one. In their ward's decontamination room. What? The construction of all of them are the same. A yellow button exists on the wall in each. Pressing it activates the showers in the other wards, and they will rain down a solution of hydrogen fluoride. <laughs> no! It's not only acidic enough to melt a body, but it even dissolves glass and iron. Explaining what would happen if you were under it seems unnecessary. That button on the wall is your way to freedom. Using it will kill the other teams, and you will obtain the needed X passes to escape. I have one final thing to tell you. The early bird gets the worm. After the first team pushes it, the button will become inactive for both of the other teams. Your time limit is three minutes. What will you do? Will you press it or refuse? So it's the it same as before. And once again, we're the outsider of this team, right? Oh, we Which gotta hurry sense. or we'll die! Ugh, stop him! Uh, don't worry. <laughs> we need to trust the others. The others, you say? What the hell That'll do you know? stop him. <laughs> hey, Oh, God, stop. get off my head! <gasps> Where did the nice Eric go? Oh, the Shut the hell up, you fucking brat! In the throat! Oh. Why, Eric? Kick! <laughs> ah! <gasps> Ooh, did Mira do it? Yeah, she did. Mira. <laughs> of course she did. <laughs> At least he's quiet now. Oh, knocked him out. I'll leave the rest of this up to you. Huh? It'll be interesting to see how you handle this. Wh what? Okay, that was easy and unexpected. <laughs> Why is she like... She's quite analytical, right? She's like... She wants to see how we handle it. She doesn't have that fit first for murder in any other sense other than the hearts, right? I mean, we're not pressing it. I want to see what happens, if anything happens, because we haven't pressed it on anyone's go. Then we can go through and press them all. Or Seems like the press... other teams didn't press it either. Yeah, press them all, sorry. I... I am so glad. <sighs> oh, he's awake again. Are we... safe? Who really knows? Mira? The boob? <laughs> the boob sneaking what? in there. Watch where you're staring. <laughs> Was he talking to me? <laughs> wow. <laughs> what? Then we'll have to wake up to find out if we're alive or not. That's usually how you know if you're alive or not. When next you wake, usually if you wake up, you're alive. <laughs> no! It would be really surprising to wake up and be dead. Really surprising. Oh god, she got knocked out with her eyes open. Okay, there was so much to unpack there that I've already forgotten it all. I had so many thoughts. Um, what were the thoughts? So he was talking about the ice cream. He was talking about meeting her. That was all fine. Then talking about the Mars mission, right? Uh, and Q was like, maybe this is part of the experiment. And then they started talking about why are we civilians doing it? Because in a real life Mars mission, probably professionals would do it. Um, which begs a good question. Was this entire Mars mission just set up for this game? Or was it just genuinely hijacked? Um, and that also then begged the question, how the heck did Mira get onto this mission? Because surely they did some tests to at least make sure these people were stable. Um... Because you would do that for a Mars mission as well. But then they had this entire conversation about the Koi and the Piranha. Which is really interesting to think about actually. So left to their own devices, the Koi 
I think that's how you say it. Um, kill each other. Like, I guess they get bored. They start having an internal conflict. They kill each other. But if there is a threat for them to unite against, they do not. They, they band together to survive because that's an instinct, right? Like... Survival is the first instinct. If there's no threat, then I guess that that kind of changes priorities. Um, so that was an interesting comparison when you think about either this game or even the Mars mission, like the fake Mars mission where they literally did put a killer in there. Like, I don't, it doesn't feel right that they would do, knowingly do that. But is that what Zero's doing? Like, I'm not sure. But I want to bear that entire story in mind. Because that was, even as a concept, that is really interesting. Like, when you think about it. Like, it would be the same with humans, right? Think about the apocalypse. Um, Well, actually, that's not true. If you watch The Walking Dead, that changes everything. What I'm just about to say. But, like, okay, so just think about a group of people. It's so true, like, if if it comes to the end of the world and there's just, like, uh, say, there's a resource war, they're going to kill each other for the resources, right? But if there's an external threat that is not zombies, generally they're going to band together, like, say it's dinosaurs or something, they're going to band together as a unit and protect the supplies and each other you would think although yeah a lot of media goes against that because then people form uh groups and stuff and then they are enemies to each other but like in general sense it makes sense and i really 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 like the theory and it's a cool um it's a cool thought to explore i i i really like that <laughs> Um, is this new? <gasps> okay, so having done all the buttons, that has unlocked these boxes. And they are opening these boxes for the emergency end or whatever it was. Quit the quit box, exit box. Oh, now that is tempting to go down. Right. Where do we go here? Because we've still got these to do. Where we're we going to learn more about these characters. We've still got to do all of the buttons and push them the other way. So that people get melted. And now we've got these new ones. I think we should do these first. Although I'm curious. I'm very curious about the boxes. But... I kind of like doing things systematically. <laughs> Maybe we can do... Right. I think I might go and push the buttons. And see what happens. I'm going to push this button and see what happens. This is what I want to do right now. <laughs> Q-team are going to kill all of our beloved characters. Oh, Eric is... Oh, he's un unbearable. Push it! Oh, God. Is it just gonna be... It's just gonna be an end, right? Where they're just gonna get out? Uh, what happened? What if it's a bluff? What I, if we get multi? I, I see. Interesting. Did you push the button? Does this mean we're going to be saved? But then... The others will... You... You killed them! C team and D team are gonna... Yeah, you nearly no, did it! we did. We had to do this so we could Ooh, survive. Oh, I hear that guy. There was no way around it. But... Couldn't be more here It's not to my be? fault! I told you from the start not to push what? it! You what? fucking liar. What are you talking about? Get him told. It was obvious you were planning on pressing it. But you're the one who actually did. It was your hand. You pushed it. You made a wise decision. Him. 
You sacrifice the lives of others in order to continue your own survival. Zero. It truly is a natural human reaction. You simply made an emergency evacuation. The action is legally justifiable. There is no blame to be placed on you for your decision. Now, I'm Sounds sure like a lawyer. Why? 1929. You have done exactly as I commanded. The memory loss drug will not be injected into the three. Oh, so they remember. Okay. That's no. good to know. No. I didn't do it. He's the one who pushed it. So he's... Oh, fuck off. But I already told you, I, I didn't kill anybody. I was only watching. Dad, I was just watching. Dad? No. Chris didn't do anything wrong. Chris? I was the one who... Please, forgive him, Dad. What? It's cold. It's cold. The water was so... So cold. Oh my god. He is PTSDing the... Fuck out. The water was so cold. Chris didn't do it. I did it. Don't blame him. What? Information? Um. <laughs> what do we make of that? Is Q isn't Chris, is he? Is dad zero? Or is he literally just flashing back in a panic attack? Alright. Um, so one way we... What's going on? <laughs> I was going to say one way we can test that is going back and um, looking at the one where we could put a name in and we could try and put Chris in and see if it did anything. Gab? What are you doing, boy? What are you doing, boy? Oh, everyone's just getting melted, right? Wait, why does... What's, hap what's happening to Gab? Gab? You okay, boy? Oh, no, melt, melty melt. Uh, uh, where are we? I think it's the decontamination room. Decontamination? Uh, I think we've been trapped in this room before. Oh no. Is it just deja vu? Where they wake uh, up for the melt? I have a bad feeling about <gasps> this. Oh no. So do I. I thought they do it while they're asleep. Wait, this button. It's the same for you, Carlos? You feel it as well? Yeah, not just her. I sense it too. Somehow, this button is very important. Oh, no. Huh. Maybe we lost our memories of it. The drugs. In the bracelets. Then, what in the world? Oh, no. Oh no! <laughs> Don't look up at it! Hide! Ah! Oh. Ah! Space goo. Oh, that is unfortunate. There was no bluff about the acid.
This is... The, the lounge. lounge. We have the memories. Uh, what happened in the decontamination room? It would be inconvenient if you forgot the cause of the death of others. Honey. That's right. I... That button. Now announcing the current casualties. C-Team. Carlos. Oh, God. Connie. Junpei. We're getting out. D-Team. Diana. Bi. Sigma. These six are now deceased. As a result, six X-Passes will be revealed. Dream. Dream. Key. Key. Quark. Quark? Mom. Dear. Mom. Dear. Arm. Um. That is all. Mom, dear, um, it's a lie. Quark. Everyone, everyone. Uh, uh, yeah! The truth is invisible. The truth Eric is invisible. Oh no! I. What have I done? No need to blame yourself. All you did was make the right choice. <laughs> but. Forget about it. We need to focus on what's next. We have six passwords. So can't we leave? I... Truth is uh, invisible. Overreacted a, a bit. But you know, maybe it's, it's better this way. What I mean is... I... I know we're all in danger from this game. But instead of being forced kill each other it's just a vote and a press of a button at least yeah. you didn't actually have to see Plus, people being murdered is what you said after so to suddenly learn the whole thing is over wait She's what if it's not just that the amnesia drugs in the bracelets maybe we didn't get injected this time but what if Every time we wake up, we have to go through the same scenario over and over again. And we're put to sleep after each one. Our memories of it, gone. Give it up. We don't need to talk about this. What are you Let's saying? just get out of here. He's right. Let's... Wait! Aren't we forgetting someone? What are you saying there, Q? Why is Gab stuck here? <laughs> That's so mean. Why in the... Let's see if we can get it off. Don't play with us, Zero! Hey, about before... You were saying we're repeating our actions with no memories. It's like the Sleeping Beauty problem. Uh-oh. The Sleeping Beauty what? It's one of the famous paradoxes. Uh-oh. The experiment starts on a Sunday. The subject is put to sleep. And then a coin is flipped. If it's heads... The subject is woken up on Monday, asked a question, and put to sleep again. And that's it. That's all they do for heads. And if it's tails? They're woken up on Monday, asked a question, and put to sleep. But that's just the same as heads. To that point, it is. But it's different after that. After the subject falls asleep again, their memories from Monday are erased. They are then asked the same question again on Tuesday. What's the question? What was the probability it was heads? That's it? Yep. That's it. Hey. How is that a problem then? It's obvious. There's a 50-50 chance of it being heads. Oh, God. You'd think so, normally. Uh, but when you're being asked it, there are three positions you could be in. The coin was heads. It is Monday. 
the coin was tails, it is Monday. And the coin was tails, it is Tuesday. Mm -hmm. That would make the probability of it being heads as one in three, right? Right. No. I don't think so. I follow, I think. It's a coin. So it'll always be 50-50 odds, no matter what. Okay, let's change some things. If heads appears, it's the same as before. But if it's tails, it ends up repeating 10,000 times. 10,000? Wake, question, sleep, memory erased. Wake, question, sleep, memory erased. Go through this 10,000 times. And it's more likely that it's the probability the one. still stay as 50 50 after all that? Uh, uh, Wait, what? <laughs> <sighs> Thinking about it, wouldn't the chances of it being tails be higher yeah. than heads? If you put it that way. Yeah. So, w which one is correct? No one knows. They don't have an answer yet. Even the scientists can't decide between one in two and one in three. It's an unsolved problem. Huh. <laughs> you know a lot about this. I read a random book on it once. Mm -hmm. Well, it was on metempsychosis, but they deal with basically the same thing. What's metempsychosis? Metempsychosis? What is it? Wouldn't waking up without your memories be just like being reborn? Oh, yeah, that sounds similar. Uh, huh. I, I'm not really sure. <laughs> Stop making me it? relate to I Eric. There's no real meaning. Because when you're reborn, all the memories you had during your past life are already gone, right? Well, that means metempsychosis isn't really needed. If there's no memories, there's no point? What? I don't understand what he's well, saying. Well, no one can perfectly remember things that happened when you were a kid. Hell, oh, God. sometimes... You can't even remember something from a month ago. So, going by what you said, everything you did before a month ago has no meaning? Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> She's asking if memories really are that important for making you who you are. What is okay. important then? I have then? a counterpoint. Well, something must be. Don't ask those kind of questions. Gab is important. Well, it looks like we can't do anymore. We're gonna have to give up here. I'm sorry. I'm really, really sorry. No way around it. We did everything we could. Come on, let's go. Can we not find like a saw or like something to cut the chain? Gab, no! Well, I've forgotten Are the you key ready? words. Yeah. Go ahead. Don't make me do it. Oh, bloody hell. All right, so basically, I think I followed that, okay. Um, back in the room with the oxygen mask, the Monty Hall problem room, I did not understand that. Um, I did not figure out the problem and I had that explained to me afterwards. And it took me a lot of going back and forth in my head to, to understand that problem. Uh, I don't think it's a good idea for me to explain it because I'll go back and forth again and probably people might already know it. Um, basically though, in the situation that we were in in that room, it is better to swap out the, your box rather than keep your own one because even though you, it seems like it's a 50-50 chance because there's only two boxes left, 
it's actually more likely that it's in the other box because originally when you picked the box there was nine tenths of a chance it was in the other box right there was only one tenth of a chance that you picked the right box just because the other ones got opened yeah it's 50 50 but it's also one tenth <laughs> it's like it's confusing but it makes sense um, it kind of depends how you look at it, I think, because like, although each time a box gets opened, the chance kind of changes, right? But at the same time, it doesn't change the fact that the chance was what it was when you opened that box. Um, so it's very, it's very strange. So uh, I was also warned about the sleeping thingy beauty was it sleep and beauty paradox so basically i think i understood that so you've gone to sleep they flip a coin i've already forgotten it <laughs> you you wake up and no if it's head no both times you wake up and get asked a question right but if it's what if it's heads if it's heads no if it's tail what if one of them you don't get woken up is that what it was shit i've forgotten right i don't think i understood it because i because if you get woken up heads and tails then that doesn't make any sense it must be one you get woken up and one you don't right because then Otherwise, the option... Oh, man. I need to watch that again! <laughs> I'll watch it again at some point. But, basically, what that was getting at and what Q was getting at there was saying... What if we've been awake, been doing the same thing and we didn't even know it? Um, so, like, that's making me now wonder... The times that we see on the clock, is that even real? Are they like made up? Are we like repeating things because we're doing it wrong and stuff? Um, and then the other question that just posed was about memories and I had a counterpoint to that. And it was like, yeah, I think memories do make, make you who you are, right? And the thing, the thing say like with Q, is there are still memories in there they just like walled off right like they are still influencing him like uh like how he wants to read that's based on previous memories um like that have then been filed away into the into the long part of your brain right that remembers things automatically so like but if you don't have any memories like, if you get your memories wiped and if you are reborn, that would have to be every part of your brain, right? You would have to learn to walk again and to talk again, to read and write again. That would be reborn, right? I think. Because if you, if you just forget your conscious memories, you still have your subconscious things. So that's not like a clean slate. Although it would still feel like being reborn because you wouldn't actually remember anything. But you would still have more instincts than you would forgetting, like, everything. So that was where I was, like, I feel like there's technicalities in that. Um, but it felt very relevant, right? Both of these two people, Mira and Q, knew about this paradox. And Mira had been researching this whole reborn phenomenon. Is that because she wants to lose her memories to see if she can feel when she brings them back no not when she brings them back when she is when she is reborn i guess why has she been reading about that i'm curious maybe she was reborn <laughs> and lost her feelings in the process like there is there is things that we need to um remember from this this gave us a lot more information than i expected actually i just thought it was gonna be deaths there's more to it right 
Can we look at the log? We're gonna have to go quite far back though. It was arm. Quark was one. I just remember thinking, could this kid be Quark? But that doesn't make any sense. Dream, key. Right, so dream, key, Quark, mum, dia, arm. I'm not gonna remember all those. Dream, key. Key. Dia. Arm. Quark. Dream key. And I'm still looking at these to see kind of how they relate. Oh, the other one was mom, wasn't it? And like, if we can relate things to other things, so like dream, I don't know. We keep going to sleep. Arm, we lost our arms before. Key, escape rooms, quark is a thing. In the future. Dear. Don't know. Mum. Mums. <laughs> I don't have a lot, but and I don't know if these are relevant, but usually things are. Also, we must keep remembering the truth is invisible. I'm still not sure what that means, but we need to bear it in mind. And we're leaving Gab behind because we are such good people. This group is just shit. <laughs> yes! It opened! Okay, let's go. Why did Gab get changed? 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 Hey, what's wrong? What are you doing? Is Q staying? I... I... Can't go. Why? Huh? I can't leave him behind. Sorry. Oh. Oh. Okay, right, right, right. Oh. Oh. Hello. I decided that I'd stay here too. I wonder why. Maybe it's because I don't have memories? I know nothing about the outside world, so I guess I didn't really want to leave. Did I make the right choice? Probably. Or was it the wrong one? Yeah. <laughs> that must be it. That must be it. Or maybe we know Gab. Maybe we grew up with Gab and we just don't remember. Gab's an old boy. We learned that, right? Maybe we grew up with him. And we're a young boy. And we couldn't leave him because we were like, this is our best friend. Just a theory. Also, like, hmm, I had more there. So, like, it's convenient that this one doesn't want to leave, right? Like, it feels sus. Oh, there's like, and Q wasn't part of the Mars experiment. Maybe Q lives here. Maybe this is home. Just as a guess. Feels like it could be. Don't know why. But also, yeah, the other thing that we learned about um, the Mars mission was they were talking about uh, that they were wanting to colonize Mars with civilians, like the people doing the experiment. It was a civilian company or something, right? Um... It wasn't like, like well, business, uh, what am I thinking? Like, it was, it wasn't military or anything like that. It, it's, it's with a name to colonize Mars. 
Is that people who like, like people who know what's going to happen? Doubtful? Because how would people know that? Unless they had intel from somebody else, which who and why? Not sure. Unless that experiment had to happen so that this could happen so that we could save the world. It's so confusing. And I think I'm over confusing it a lot. <laughs> oh yeah, we've got these. But, right, I think I should go back and do all of these alternate button presses. Right, so this led to a different one. I'm guessing out of the other groups, people aren't going to stay behind. So they might be a bit shorter. So who should we do first? Let's do this one. Let's see what happens if these guys stay behind. 